Checking on Money Matters this morning. Disney is giving money back to some of its workers, and a Jacksonville-based timber business is buying more land. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with these stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. So Rainier is making a huge land buy along the I-95 corridor. Sure are, Bruce and Nikki, the Jacksonville-based timber company buying 95,000 acres in Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Now, the Jacksonville Business Journal says this is worth about $217 million. The company says this will strengthen its business in the South. Jane, Walt Disney's paying up to some employees. They are. Disney has agreed to, pro to uh, provide $3.8 million in back wages to thousands of hotel and timeshare resort workers. The Labor Department had accused Disney, saying the employees were routinely not paid for 15 minutes of work before and after shifts. So that average is out to about $233 per employee. So we have uh, a Saks Fifth Avenue outlet store, and uh, I know that Saks mm -hmm. exposed some personal information of customers. What happened? Yes, on the website, this fact tens of thousands of customers. Now, these are email addresses, phone numbers, product codes. They were made available on publicly accessible pages, according to BuzzFeed, which first reported this breach. Saks uses a third party to manage its web operations. It says it's taking care of all this. All right, and Jane, if you're uh, maybe on the hunt for America's Drunkest Spring Break location, <laughs> may, I mean, you could be looking for it or you could be looking to avoid it. Um, you exactly. Don't, you don't have to look very far. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of parents may want to know where that is and send their kids somewhere else. Somewhere else. Now, according to this yeah. newly released <laughs> survey, uh, that distinction goes to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Guys, I think that might have been the drunkest place when I was in college, so it's been there for a while. Uh, the measurement was done via Instagram, where Fort Lauderdale had 16% of the photos posted from there featuring alcohol and drugs. Harlingen, Texas, by the way, second on that list. My son Greg lives down there. He better not be a contributing factor. <laughs> Jane, thank you. It looks crazy. Yep. Yeah.